Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm going to talk about solar. And I'm just going to show you the uh, very easy way to get into solar, and that's with the Harbor Freight System. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there. Um, but this is how I got started. This is what the box looks like. It's a 45 watt solar panel kit. And I paid $129 for mine. Uh, it was on Christmas special, and it still might be on sale. But this is what you're going to get. The reason I recommend going with this system, if you're one of the people that are scared, and I know the feeling, before I got into this solar, uh, very intimidated by it. Didn't know which parts to put where, what to do. Um, I bought my first 45 watt solar panel kit about four years ago, and um, they're actually on top of this building right now, top of my tool shed, and there's actually two of them up there. Let me show you the components. Um, Basically, you're going to get three of these panels. These are 15 watt panels, so for a total, when you combine them, for 45 watts. Um, I have a sharp 235 watt panel outside, and my sharp 235 is about the size of all three of these. So for the same space, 45 watts compared to 235 watts. Now, granted, the sharp was a lot more money, but solar panels are definitely coming down. But this is what I'm recommending if you are starting out and, and you're not really mechanically inclined and you don't understand uh, electrics or electronics or anything to do with being mechanically inclined. This is the perfect set for you. This is what pushed me into it. And uh, I have four sets now. This is the fourth set that I'm showing you. And I will have two sets on this building and two on my storage building. And let me show you how easy they are. If you can see the panels, there's holes here for screws. Um, a little cheap plastic uh, mounting system comes together with it right there. I don't use it. I don't like it. What I do is I just take a couple pressure treated 2x4s or you could use some thin metal or aluminum and make a frame for this. I, I, I make my own frame. So you're going to get three panels. The first thing you're going to do is figure out where you're going to put them. Typically, you're going to face them south. Then, you are going to connect them. This is sort of idiot-proof. They, they've done a great job so we don't get confused. Basically, each panel has a cord. This is like a combiner, and each one of these will go into here. Just push them in. So now you've taken your three panels, and you've connected into one. So all the output's coming into here. Now, you can take this... Um, and go right into your charge controller using this wire right here that comes with a kit. But let's say um, you want to buy multiple kits or you, you bought one kit and you really like it, you can easily buy this combiner. It's about 14 bucks. And what this will do is you can combine a, a, a lot of systems together. You can actually do eight of them. You can do eight kits with three panels or you can do eight panels. It doesn't matter. You could take these and just plug into here and, and bypass this, or if you want to get the max amount, you can plug these three panels into this and then into this. But you don't need this if you're just going to get one panel, but it's an easy add-on that's uh, very easy to add on more sets of panels. So basically you're going to have this if you got multiple. If not, we're just going to go into this simple wire. They have made it so easy. They have given you this, uh, they've given you instructions that are basically on this sort of laminated piece of paper um, easy to easy to follow pictures so basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect everything up and then we're going to connect this to the charge controller basically this is the charge controller I have four sets so I have four charge controllers I only need two of them so I actually have two extra charge controllers put back normally this is kept in a Faraday cage it's very easy they, they label everything there you go solar panels on these and this says batteries they make it very easy they give you the cables for your batteries you can actually set this up in, in an hour you'll be you'll be done with this system you also get two of these lights these lights uh, only put out 5 watts, but they're the equivalent of about a 50 watt light bulb. I have 4 in this room and 4 in my other room. Normally they only come with 
two, but because I have four sets, I have extras. So what I did to solve this problem and, and make it real easy so I didn't have to do any electrical cutting, any wires, splicing, I went to Radio Shack, and for $6, you can get that. This will get you to be able to put um, two lights into one of the sockets. Right here are the sockets. You just push them in and push it in. So now I can run four lights, and that's what I'm doing. It also comes with a three volt and a six volt charger, USB plug. You can plug in an inverter or you can run the inverter off the battery. The inverter doesn't come with it. That's something you'll need to buy. This is a 12 volt, like a cigarette outlet, so you can use a lot of things that you uh, can in your vehicle. <clears throat> Let me show you this working. Unplug this so you can see. It's on right now. And we're at 14 point, that's what the things putting out, solar panels. Very easy to use. Plug these back in. And you can leave them in because each one has an on-off switch for each line. Let me show you over here. It's probably not going to show up that much, but there it is on. There it's off. Um, with three in this room, I have three in this room, it gives me a lot of light. I can do whatever I need to do at night if I, I lose grid power. Now, you have to have a battery. This is a marine battery. It's an Everstart Max. It's like a trolling motor battery or a, a battery that you can get pretty much anywhere. It's not a regular car battery. I am going to buy another one of these next month. This one's a pretty new one. If you're going to buy uh, and multiple batteries and hook them up so you have more, more amps, go ahead and buy them at the same time if you can. Now this system is small. It's 45 watts. It will not do a lot. But I have it in here and I have two sets. So I have 90 watts. I have it to run my communication. I get to run my CB, the ham, and a couple more CBs. And then I use it for charging all my handhelds. I also have it, I, I like it because it's very important. Uh, that's my fireman radio. So in a really a bad situation, I want to be able to keep this radio up and running. If, if the battery runs out on this and I couldn't charge it, um, I wouldn't be any help to my community. And I'm going to do a video on this, on, on getting involved in your community. And this is part, being a volunteer fireman is definitely part of my community. I'm, I'm making a lot of contacts, meeting a lot of people, and meeting a lot of preppers. I also can use it to charge my cell phone, a laptop. So basically this system I have is 90 watts and it will keep combo gear running and it will keep a few lights running. Um, I can run a fan off of it with the inverter. The inverters are not expensive, they're something you'll buy and basically you'll plug your appliance or whatever you're going to use into it. And there you go. You have an inverter running a radio, you can run a fan, but this is the basic part you're going to have. You're going to get three panels. You're going to hook up the panels very easily. You can't do really anything wrong because it's uh, just pushed together. Then you're going to run this into your next cable which goes onto your charge controller. Then you hook your battery up with these cables and you're up and running. You're producing a little bit of power. You can add a lot of these together, but if you're thinking, hey, I want to run the refrigerator, what I would do is I would buy a set if, if you're confused on what to do. Put this set up, play with it, use it, and learn from it. Because after a few months of actually using this system, you're going to know the names, you're going to know how things work, and then you can take that next step. Um, there's a lot of other panels out there that are better panels for sure. But I've had mine, the two sets on the roof here for four years, I've had a single problem. I've had no breakage of any sort with the lights, uh, with the charge controller. Now granted, this is the bottom of the line stuff, but this is to get you started. And I am so happy I got started. I was very intimidated by solar starting off. Um, that's why I didn't do it for years. I knew I needed to, um, but I never did it because I was intimidated. This system is, is very user-friendly. Simply plug things in and it will let you charge uh, radios, keep your cell phones running, uh, charge your batteries for any tools. So this is just an easy system. If you're scared, spend a little bit of money. You're gonna, if you can get it on sale, it's I think 129. 
and then you're going to spend about a hundred dollars on a battery and you could spend 40 bucks or on up on an inverter so not not bad you'll have less than three hundred dollars in the system and you'll be learning a lot and you'll have the potential to keep things running uh, for camo and a few simple lights thanks for watching